Yo, what's going on YouTube? It is your boy Ears. Hope you guys are having a great rest of your day, start to your day, whatever time it may be. And we'll be going over the new 10 best class setups in Modern Warfare after the new update. Now this update included weapon rebalancing and we're going to have to rework every single class setup that we have here in Modern Warfare. Weapons got buffed, weapons got nerfed, and the entire meta has changed. So you guys want to make sure you guys are paying attention and adjusting your class setups accordingly. Now remember, if you guys want to see any more best class setups, best settings, tips and tricks, or any gameplay breakdowns where I analyze my gameplay, or potentially break down and analyze your gameplay to help you guys improve, make sure you guys absolutely smash the like button the video, subscribe to the channel, and also turn on those post notifications so you guys are notified immediately when I upload a new video, specifically videos going over any updates or best class setups. With all being said, let's get right into it. So for our first class setup, we're gonna be reworking our M4A1. This is gonna be my nuke class number one. Now for the M4, I usually run it with the no stock attachment. That is no longer viable. Now for the M4, we're gonna want to run it with the monolithic suppressor, the stock M16 grenade barrel, which is gonna allow us to have increased damage range, increased bullet velocity, as well as increased recoil control, Overall, the best barrel attachment to run on this weapon because it's going to iron out that recoil and make it that much easier to use at longer ranges. For the third attachment, we're going to want to run the Commando Foregrip, which is going to allow us to have recoil stabilization and as well as aiming stability, again, to iron out that recoil, making this weapon an absolute laser over long ranges. Now, for the fourth attachment, we're going to be dropping the 60 round magazine and instead running the 50 round mag because we are not going to be running the no stock attachment anymore. The 50 round is going to be plenty and it actually takes up less weight so we can ADS a lot faster. Now for the final attachment, we're going to be running the stippled grip tape. Now the stippled grip tape allows us to have increased aim down sight speed as well as increased sprint to fire speed, a fantastic replacement for the no stock attachment. The no stock attachment on the M4 and honestly the no stock attachment for every single weapon in the game actually received a nerf which means it's a lot worse now giving the weapons a lot more recoil and that's the last thing we want to have happen to our assault rifles and our SMG builds. Now for my second nuke class we're gonna have to rework the Kilo 141. This is one of my favorite guns in the game so make sure you guys are adjusting this accordingly. Now for the Kilo 141, we're gonna be running the Syngard Arms Whisperer Barrel, which is gonna add sound suppression as well as bullet velocity. This barrel, again, is the absolute best barrel to run on the Kilo. It's gonna make it feel like it's killing enemies a lot faster. And on top of that, we have added sound suppression so we can run around in the enemy spawn without actually being found and heard nearly as much. Now for the second attachment, I'm gonna be running the Merc Foregrip. Now the Merc Foregrip actually allows us to have recoil control as well as hip fire accuracy. This is still a mobile AR class setup so that recoil control and the hip fire accuracy is really helpful because we can still pull off some hip fire kills at decent ranges that are going to be like, wow, I'm not too sure if I should be able to pull that off. Now for the third attachment, we're still going to be running the 60 round magazine because again, this is a more mobile assault rifle class setup. 60 rounds is plenty to take out four, five, six, seven, eight enemies at a single time without actually having to reload. For the fourth attachment, we're going to be running the stippled grip tape and dropping off the no stock attachment, allowing us to have increased aim down sight speed as well as increased sprint to fire speed. And then finally, we're running the fully loaded perk so we can start off with maximum ammo so I can use the kilo one from one from kill one all the way to kill 30 so I get my tactical nuke or at least until you get your highest kill streak that you have equipped. Now, we're going to be reworking my third nuke class. This is going to be on the growl. Now, this is a big change. You guys need to pay attention and make sure you guys are adjusting this class setup so it is now up to speed. For the growl, we're going to be using the Malik Suppressor. We're still going to be running the Tempest 26.4 inch Archangel Barrel. This barrel is allow us to have increased damage range, increased bullet velocity, as well as increased recoil control. Again, in my opinion, the best barrel attachment to run on this weapon. It also goes ahead and gives us a clear iron sight picture, making this a lot, and I mean a lot easier to use over at longer ranges. 
For the third attachment, we're going to be running the Commando Foregrip, again for recoil stabilization and ammo stability. Going to make this weapon an absolute laser over long ranges. I'm still running the 60 round magazine on this weapon. And then finally, I'm running the XRK Void 2 Rear Grip, which acts as the stippled grip tape, giving us aim down sight speed as well as sprint to fire speed, both increased as a replacement for the no stock. The no stock attachment is not viable at all on this weapon. The recoil is uncontrollable, and considering the fact that the Growl is one of the best rifles to use at long ranges, we want to kind of still keep that trait when running this class setup. Now, we're going to be reworking my fourth new class setup, which is going to be with the AK-47, another gun that was affected by the no stock nerf, so we're going to have to go ahead and rebuild this. Now, for the AK, we're running the Monolix Suppressor, the 23-inch Romanian barrel, which gives us damage range, bullet velocity, as well as recoil control. The best barrel to run on the AK because this gun does have a lot of vertical recoil. This is going to tame that, making this a lot easier to use over at longer ranges. For the third attachment, we're going to run the stippled grip tape. So we can have increased aim down sight speed as well as increased sprint to fire speed. We're going to be replacing the rubberized grip tape for this because we have to run a stock now on this gun. For the fourth attachment, we're going to be running the skeleton stock over the no stock, which allows us to have aim walking movement speed and aim down sight speed both increased, making this weapon a lot easier to use at medium to close ranges. So we can go ahead and take enemies out a lot faster. And then finally, I'm running fully loaded on this weapon. So I can use the AK-47 from kill 1 all the way to kill 30 until I get that tactical nuke or at least the highest kill streak that I have equipped. The AK-47 is a fantastic gun as well because they actually buff the AK-47, giving it a faster aim down sight speed. So all these attachments are working in tandem, making this one of the best assault rifles in the game to use as of right now. Now we're going to be looking at a high damage class that this is going to be with the SCAR. Now the SCAR, again, we don't really have to rework completely, but I have a different SCAR class set up for you guys. So go ahead and give this a shot if you guys want to use the SCAR. Now for the SCAR, we're running the Monolithic Suppressor, the Merc Foregrip, which allows us to have recoil control and hip fire accuracy. Going to tame that vertical recoil, making this gun a lot easier to use over at longer ranges. And the hip fire, surprisingly, is really effective on this weapon. We're going to be running the 30 round magazine because the 20 by default is not enough. Honestly, I wish they would give this gun a 25 or a 30 round magazine by default, freeing up a additional attachment slot. But hey, we're going to have to run this until that time has come. For the fourth attachment, we're going to run the FSS close quarter stock, which gives us increased aim down side speed, something that this gun absolutely needs because we're no longer going to be running the no stock attachment. It's going to make this gun absolutely uncontrollable if you guys do have this equipped. And then finally, we're running the fully loaded perk because we need max starting ammo because the SCAR already has ammo problems. We're going to have to have as much ammo in reserve so we can actually hit those streaks and potentially catch that tactical nuke now we're going to be going ahead and looking at an updated rushing class set now the mp5 did get a nerf so we're going to have to rebuild the entire class setup now the mp5 we're still running the monolithic integral suppressor which allows us to have sound suppression and bullet velocity this is the best barrel and actually the best muzzle on the weapon because it actually does increase the range as well so there's no need to run the monolithic suppressor as a muzzle run the barrel we are going to be running the merc foregrip so we can have increased recoil control as well as increased hip fire accuracy again this is fantastic you guys can get those long range kills if you need to and in the fact it's still a submachine gun having that increased hip fire accuracy is going to be super helpful we're going to be running the 40 round magazine the 10 millimeter is non viable it's garbage now so run the 45 so we have additional bullets to take enemies out especially if we are running and gunning so we can take out four five six seven eight enemies at a single time without actually having to reload for the fourth detachment we're now running the stippled grip tape over the no stock the no stock is complete garbage on the mp5 so we're gonna have to use it with the simple grip tape which gives us aim down sight speed as well as sprint to fire speed increase to make this submachine gun feel a little bit more like an smg and then finally we're running the fully loaded perk so i can start off with maximum starting ammo so i can 
use the MP5 from kill 1 all the way to kill 30. I'm also running the Renetti pistol as well as my secondary. This does share ammo, so we're literally going to have unlimited ammo with this gun. We're never going to run out. And if you guys do not want to run fully loaded on this weapon, you can guys can put on the TAC laser, which is going to have additional increased aim down sight speed, aiming stability, as well as aim walking steadiness. Now, for my second rushing class setup, it's going to be the Uzi. The Uzi has now replaced every other SMG in the game besides the MP5. Now, for the Uzi, we're going to rocking it with the Milex suppressor the 26 or excuse me the 16.5 inch factory carbine barrel or you guys can run the fss carbine pro barrel both are going to allow us to have increased damage range increased bow velocity as well as increased recoil control gonna iron out that recoil pattern and making the uzi a lot easier to use over at longer ranges and being able to pick enemies off across the map very easily surprisingly the uzi actually is viable at long ranges with this barrel now for the third attachment we're going to run the merc foregrip allowing us to have increased recoil control and hip fire accuracy fantastic to use on this weapon it is amazing especially on the uzi and for the fourth attachment running the 0.41 ae 32 round mag this is going to allow the uzi to get two shot kills at close range it's going to increase that damage as well as increasing that range the absolute best ammo attachment to run on this gun and honestly probably the most important attachment to use on this weapon for all time literally amazing i'm super happy they added this to this gun and you guys should definitely be going ahead and rocking it and instead of running the no stock attachment again we're gonna have to replace this with the stippled grip tape giving us increased aim down side speed as well as increased sprint to fire speed making this weapon a little bit easier to use especially if you guys are trying to run and gun now, we're looking at a one-shot assault rifle slash marksman class. Now, the M14 or the EBR-14 is absolutely amazing here in Modern Warfare, and I think you guys should definitely go ahead and try this out. Now, the EBR-14, it's going to allow us to get one-shot kills to the head. Now, we're going to rock it with the Modlik Suppressor, the Forge Tech Precision 22-inch barrel, which allows us to have damage range, bullet velocity as well as recoil control again the best barrel to run on this weapon it's going to allow us to actually take enemies out over longer ranges and if you guys understand trigger discipline this is going to be the best barrel to run on this gun because you could literally pick enemies off across the map without actually having to really readjust your aim now we're also running the 20 round magazine because this gun comes with a 10 round mag by default and obviously that is not going to be enough 20 rounds just in case we do miss a couple of shots it's going to be a lot more forgiving and exactly why i run this on my ebr 14 class setups now for the fourth attachment i'm running the gi mini reflex and my pin this is one of the cleanest optics in the entire game you could also run the canted hybrid scope on this gun it's also fantastic it's going to give us a gi mini reflex as well as an illuminated acog sight you guys can see enemies in hard to see areas dark corners in the back of windows in the back of rooms overall a fantastic optic to run on this weapon as well and then finally we're going to be running the fss raider chassis elite stock which is going to give us increased aim down side speed aim walking movement speed as well as sprint to fire speed overall the best stock attempt to run on this weapon it's going to speed everything up the marksman rifles in this game also received a buff so they're going to be a lot faster in general so we're going to go ahead and use all the taps to buff up that handling making these pretty much on par with the ARs and sometimes even better than some of the ARs in this game. Now we're checking out some DLC weapons. Now we're going to be running around with the AMAX. Now if you guys want to use the AMAX, you're going to have to rework your class setup because they actually slightly reduced the range on this gun and we did have a no stock attachment class prior that's going to have to be readjusted. Now for the AMAX, we're running it with the Milex Suppressor, the XRK Zodiac S440 barrel, which allows us to have increased damage range, increased bow velocity, as well as increased recoil control to kind of iron out that recoil pattern, making this weapon that much easier to use over longer ranges and overall the best barrel to run on this gun. For the third attachment, we're running the Merc foregrip, so we can have additional recoil control as well as increased hip fire accuracy. This gun's hip fire is absolutely incredible. It's comparable to the AK-47, so if you guys want to be able to pull off some ridiculous hip fire kills at ranges, I recommend you guys going ahead 
and slapping on the Merc foregrip. Now for the fourth attachment, I'm running the 45 round magazine so we can take out more enemies with a single clip because the 30 round with this gun, because of the fact that it has a decently high fire rate, is just not going to be enough. And then finally, we're going to be running the XRK CR56 stippled wrap, which acts as the stippled grip tape and the replacement for the no stock attachment, allowing us to have increased aim down side speed as well as increased sprint to fire speed so we can win those gunfights at close to medium ranges a lot easier. And then finally, we're looking at another DLC weapon loadout. This is going to be with the Ram 7. Now, this class setup overall can suit all of your play styles. We're going to be running it with the Monolith Suppressor, the Commando Forger, which allows us to have recoil stabilization and aiming stability. Going to keep this weapon under control over longer ranges, even though it really does not have a lot of recoil. This is just going to make it a lot easier to use. We're going to be running the 50 round magazine because this gun has a wicked high fire rate. So 50 rounds is going to be honestly the baseline on what you guys need to be having. So you guys can take out as many enemies without actually having to reload every single time you get into a gunfight. We're going to be running the rubberized grip tape, giving this additional recoil control because this gun does have a little bit of recoil, but with that rubberized grip tape, it's going to be controlling this and making it literally next to none and then finally we're running the fully loaded perks so we can use the ram 7 from kill 1 to kill 30 until you get that tactical nuke or you get the max kills that you guys have unlocked on your class setup these are going to be the new 10 best class setups after the 1.23 update here in modern warfare if there are three steps i want you guys to try out and use if you guys are trying to increase your kd or go for your first tactical nuke it's going to 100 be this uzi class setup overall fantastic and one of the best rushing class setups as of right now we're also going to be going ahead and looking at this growl class setup an updated growl setup which is going to be pretty solid especially if you guys are trying to pick enemies off over ranges and then finally you're definitely going to want to check out my kilo one for one class setup one of the best running gun assault rifles in the game and you literally cannot go wrong with this weapon now remember if you guys want to see any more best class setups best settings tips and tricks or any gameplay breakdowns where i analyze my gameplay potentially break down and analyze your gameplay so you guys can improve Make sure you guys absolutely smash like button the video, subscribe to the channel, and also turn on those post notifications so you guys stay up to date and notified immediately when I upload a new video. Hope you guys did enjoy, and I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.